So we're told that the given point is on the terminal side of the angle theta, and we have to find the six trig function values of theta. So let's go ahead and uh, give a graph of uh, our angle theta. So here's the y-axis and here's the x-axis. So maybe this is negative four and maybe this is negative three. And so this is our terminal side for our, our angle. And then this is theta. And so uh, this point here would be negative four, uh, negative three. So you could draw like a little triangle here if you wanted to. So this is our x and this is our y. So in order to find um, the six trig function values for theta, we have to use a formula. So first note that r is given by the formula, the square root of x squared plus y squared. So in this case, we have the square root of negative four squared plus negative three squared. So this is the square root of uh, 16 plus nine. So square root of 25, which is uh, five. So R is five. So once we have R, we can use the other the formulas for the trig functions to get all of the answers. So the sine of theta is going to be equal to Y over R. So here Y is given to us. So it's simply negative three over five. So that's one of the answers uh, to the question. The cosine of theta is given by the formula x over r. And in this case, x is negative 4. So this will be negative 4 over 5. That's another answer to our question. And the tangent of theta is given by y over x. So basically, you just divide these. So it'll be negative 3 over negative 4. So that's 3 over 4. That's the tangent of theta. For the other ones, all you have to do is look at the reciprocal. So cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of sine. I memorize it by remembering that it starts with a different letter. So this would be negative 5 over 3. That would be the value of the cosecant of theta. And then the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So the secant of theta would be negative five over four. And the reciprocal of tangent would be cotangent. So cotangent of theta uh, would just be four over three. That would be the value of cotangent of theta. I hope this video has been helpful.